Ramo, welcome back to my art channel and welcome back to yet another episode of Illustrator Reacts, the only show. That's right. And uh, the show where I react to other people drawing. If you also want to suggest an artist, uh, feel free to follow me on my Instagram and just hit me up on my direct message and then maybe I will react to your favorite artist in the next video. And one of these suggested artists is Akihito Yoshitomi. He recorded all 31 of his Inktober drawings from 2019. This video is one and a half hours long. Pure drawing without anyone talking. Well, now, now I'm the one who, who's talking. This is day one of his Inktober. He already did the sketch, which is a pretty rough sketch to be honest, but we are used to these rough sketches by now. They are really just sketching out the basic shapes and all of the details he is adding directly with the G-Pen. Especially it's so hard to, to draw like these mechanical parts anyways, but you know, just drawing in the details directly over a pretty rough sketch is, is pretty, pretty crazy to think about it. But just listen to the sound for a second guys. I just love listening to pencil scratching on paper and these G-Pens, they definitely have the most satisfying sounds of all of them. And did you see how quick he's doing the strokes? So this gives his lines so much dynamicness and it's it's pretty epic. And I love like how he adds these blobs of black to show that these parts are in shadow, especially also on the dress down here. It's a perfect way to use line weight. Where there are shadows, you should do a thicker line and where there is the lighter part of the drawing, you should do thinner lines. How good is this already looking? I don't know. And it's just day one. So if I would be able to draw so good, I would completely do Inktober each year, definitely. So by the way, for those of you who don't know what Inktober is, it basically is uh, a challenge I think created by Jake Parker and, and a lot of artists around the world are starting on the 1st of October doing an ink drawing every single day throughout Inktober and most of us, including me, are dropping out of the challenge after 4 days. Yeah, but not Yoshitomi, he is actually drawing all 31 and all of these 31 drawings are epic and it's just a sketchbook drawing beautiful artwork day one so i would highly suggest guys if you are interested in watching more of those super satisfying asmr videos he's also using felt tip pens and look at this listen to the pencil on paper yes so satisfying, I don't know. By the way, I love how he sharpens his pencil like with this super long lead. Don't know why he's doing this. Maybe that he's not pressing too hard. Well, actually, I just know that people actually do this so they can shade with the pencil, but it doesn't seem like he's shading with the pencil. So I really don't know why he has sharpened his pencil lead like this. Let's just take a look at how he shades the hair, because that's really interesting. Okay, he's using his pen to pocket brush pen. Uh, we already learned about this pen in the last video. It's one, I think, the most difficult tool to control. But uh, if you can control it like he does... <sighs> so beautiful, looks so good, guys. I don't know. He is incredible and he has a YouTube channel. So, guys, if you want to check this video and his YouTube channel, definitely go it's definitely worth it and we are gonna continue with none other than yo yoshinari who is the creator and i think also character designer and uh, animation director and director of little witch academia which is this beautiful short film if you haven't watched it go watch it there's also a series um, on Netflix, I think. And the original video is also up on YouTube. I'm gonna link it down in the description as well. This is the sped up version, which is 10 minutes. And I think originally it takes him one and a half hours, which is, or two and a half hours. I'm not sure anymore. Anyways, he's doing a full illustration. So crazy fast for a completed full illustration. 
especially on such a high quality level. So you just saw how he pushes out the sketch. But what's interesting, I think, on his approach is uh, that he is probably the first of the mangaka artists we've seen so far that is doing a super rough sketch and then doing a more refined sketch on top and it's not directly inking over his super first rough initial sketch. So he's doing multiple sketches before he starts with the final inking and it's actually how I work as well. I just do I think one or two maybe sometimes even three sketches before I start with the final line work. <sighs> Actually, yeah, look at the hands. The pose of the hands is so good. And if you don't know his works, you should also definitely check out his sketches and stuff. They are up on, on Google Images and on Pinterest and his sketches are so good. I love his character designs. I love that his style is uh, less realistic than other manga and animes. A lot more stylized. Also, the proportions and stuff are a lot more stylized in the anime but it's so expressive you can see how much experience he has uh, it's beautiful and now what he's doing here right now is something I, I, I forgot how it's called but he is starting with having really bright saturated colors that are all really different from each other he's gonna recolor the image with the actual colors of these characters we will probably see this as well so let's see yeah, here he is just doing a color balance, changing all the colors. I think it's just for him it's easier to see which parts are colored, which parts are not colored yet. So the flat colors are done. Let's check out how he puts on some shadows and some highlights on his characters. Jumping over to Coral Painter actually. I think he was using Photoshop before, yeah. For the drawing he's using Photoshop. Which is interesting, and then he jumps over to Coral Painter. Um, I'm not sure anymore if I ever use it, but I think he, what you can do there is that you have pencils that look more like oil paintings. It's a bit more artsy, and Photoshop is still more like a photo manipulation software, and Coral Painter is just for painting and drawing. So that's probably why he's preferring it. I mean, he is kind of cell shading his characters, but he's also erasing into the cell shading to give it a more realistic shaded look. And I think it, it, it definitely looks beautiful. He, by the way, turned off the color layer just to work on the shading. And then I think what he will do is turning the color layer back on and he's going to set this shadow layer to multiply the shadows are done now he will probably yeah he jumps back over to photoshop and sets the shadows to multiply and then he's changing the shadows to a reddish tone and this is a really useful way to work uh, you should definitely try it try to work in just with the basic gray shadow tone and then put the layer to multiply and then you know, change the color to reddish tone and then you will end up with something that looks really beautiful, like, like this. So you can see how he has like these pinkish reddish shadows and this is what makes this illustration look so well. And here is the finished artwork, which is epic, the pose is epic, it's so dynamic, it's crazy and then if you have like so crazy dynamic poses, you can directly see that he has a background in animation where it's all about making super crazy dynamic poses uh, and key poses especially so <sighs> epic stuff guys epic stuff i think the video is going to be pretty long but i somehow want to do one more let's just do another one so last but not least we have nayashi komi nayashi komi um the creator of nisekoi Nisekoi, probably the worst pronunciation you've ever heard. Nisekoi. And he is starting really rough. It looks almost like stick figures, like really advanced stick figures. But I think I will just sped up this video a bit because it's 48 minutes. Which sometimes I think you really don't need double speed when you watch these guys because uh, they're working so fast anyways. <laughs> ah, okay, now I can see what he did there. He actually did not work on multiple characters and on a composition. He is just doing rough pose drawings to see, to just search for a really dynamic pose that he can use for the finished illustration probably. So 
Yeah, and now he found the pose that he wants to draw and that works for him. So he is doing another rough sketch, a bit more detailed. And I think it's gonna be the second artist that is doing more than just the super simple sketch. He is doing multiple sketches as well, which is something new. Something new we discovered in these videos. Hey, I wouldn't have thought that there is a mangaka who is doing more than the super crazy rough sketch and then jumps directly into inking. Which was also really depressing to see that some of those guys are just ripping it out like crazy. So he's lightly erasing his rough sketch for the first time and now is probably working on the final line drawing. He's actually doing really strokey lines so this is probably just another sketch. I mean it seems some parts seem really finished other than others. Ah, okay, I think it's interesting what he does. He is doing a sketch and before he finished the sketch completely he is erasing parts of the sketch and finishing parts of the drawing and then moves on to the next part. Ah, Actually it's a pretty interesting new way of searching for the perfect lines and then he starts inking. Okay, the inking, we're gonna jump forward here a bit because I think Ah, okay, he's using also a felt pen, not only the G pen, also a felt pen. That's kind of cool. I'm really interested to see the coloring, to be honest, so I'm gonna jump forward. Because as you may know, I recently bought some Copic markers and he is using Copic markers as well, so maybe, probably, we're gonna learn a lot. Okay, it's interesting. He starts with drawing the blush on the cheeks and on the hands before he adds the skin tone. I usually work the other way around, I start with the skin tone and then I paint in the blush and stuff. Okay, he's drawing in a pink and I'm not sure. I, I'm assuming that he's working on some kind of a gradient. Wow, beautiful gradient already. Okay, that's what I thought. He started with the blush and then added the skin tone. So we already learned something, maybe something to try out for the next challenge to start the other way around. Start with the blush at first and then start coloring. Ah, okay, yeah, yeah. This character, I don't know what it's called, I'm sorry. It's actually a blonde character, so he starts with now blending in the blonde over to the pink. Whew, and the gradient, it looks so, it looks so epic, guys, I don't know. What I like about this, mm, Copy coloring is that he is not blending a lot. I mean he blend and use the gradient for the hair But the shading actually is really Cell shaded so he has a huge difference between the light tone and the darker tone which gives His illustrations this typical anime look and I think it's it's super it's super beautiful. Oh My god guys, it's so satisfying. I don't know something about watching Copic market colorings is so much more epic than watching digital coloring. At least it's my like opinion. He adds white highlights probably on the hair and on the eyes with white out. And with the G pen as well for the eyes probably. Okay now for the details on the hair and for the eyes. And I know that we're gonna learn a lot by just watching these masters working guys. I don't know. Looks so good. Beautiful artwork. What a wonderful episode. And I hope you liked it as well. So let me know down in the comments as well which one of these illustrations was your favorite. Yeah, and then I will hopefully see you guys in the next episode of Illustrated Reacts. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram and maybe send me uh, your favorite artist I should react to in another one of these episodes. So see you there. Until then, bye bye guys. <laughs>